Hello everybody, welcome to this video in which I will show you my prototype that I've developed during the IoT course at Sapiens University of Rome and uh, in particular my prototype is a system that aims to detect uh, some uh, leakage of water in, um, in by monitoring a tap and in particular it uses a um, peer uh, sensor to detect movement in front of the tap and uh, um, water flow sensor um, the leakage is detected when the, there are uh, some water flowing out of the of the tap but there is no movement let's now see how to, to set up our uh, virtual environment to let the system work so at first let uh, uh, set up our um, virtual uh, network using uh, the tap setup interface uh, given by Riot um, and um, we also need to assign a global uh, IPv6 address to our tap bridge uh, 0 at this point we can deploy our uh, uh, mosquito that uh, will act as a transparent bridge uh, MQTT MQTTSN and um, that is connected with um, Amazon Web Services with topic uh, uh, well sensors. Now let's deploy our Mosquito RSMB that will act as um, MQTTS and broker and uh, will uh, receive messages from uh, the board and will forward uh, them to the Mosquito uh, bridge that will forward the message to the cloud. Now we need to uh, flash our main program um, on, um, on our board uh, and then uh, we need to uh, assign um, to, to the board a global IPv6 address and then connect to the Mosquito RSMB on, on port uh, 1885. Before to launch the um, program let's see the physical deployment of our prototype. Here we have the Nucleo that is the main board of our system that is connected with the uh, movement sensor and with the um, water flow sensor. Here we have a LED that is already on since the board is already connected with the PC and then we have a buzzer that will be activated in, uh, in case of leak uh, just to keep the attention of uh, someone that can close the tap and stop the leak. Okay so now we are ready to start our system and in order to do that we need to launch the command run on our uh, uh, board um, shell so let's do that and we start collecting data obviously for the moment uh, always is, uh, is a zero let's step in front of the peer in order to generate some, uh, some movement and for the moment we are sampling each 20 seconds since the tap is closed and there is no water flowing out of the tap so here we have the first um, uh, data with the movement um, 1 and water 0 since we have stepped in front of the peer sensor now um, we will uh, have another, um, another data of uh, zeros and now let's open the, the tap so there is some water flowing out of the, of the tap and now we have water 1 and movement 1 since we have a step in front of the gear sensor so now what happens if we um, leave the tap open without go in front of the pier there is a possible leak detected for, for the first time now we have detected a second possible leak and the buzz uh, start buzzing so it is activated in order to signal the, um, the leak so here we have a leak that is uh, detected and we are asked to uh, close, uh, close the tap now we have another signal and here we, we close the tap and uh, um, now we will uh, obviously have uh, another uh, zero for the water and also zero for the for the movement and all is uh, is reset and uh, um, the sampling is uh, already uh, each 20 seconds while um, if the um, tap is open the sampling is each uh, 10 seconds let's now see more in detail what is happening on, uh, on the cloud 
So um, here we have uh, receiving all the data with topic well sensors from the IoT Core uh, MQTT broker, and obviously all the data are stored into a Dynamo DB table called Well Table, and here we have all the um, all the data that we have uh, just sent uh, ordered by by ID. Okay, now let's talk about the front end part of um, of that project. That for the moment it, it uh, consists of a um, web dashboard um, that can be deployed locally, um, and that is uh, developed using uh, the Django framework. So um, let's open our uh, uh, local host on port uh, um, eight thousand to see how uh, our dashboard uh, appears and uh, it is a two sample dashboard with some chart and a uh, table containing uh, data uh, in particular the uh, the, um, the site uh, calls an api that uh, retrieves the 15 most recent data uh, stored in the well table that is the dynamodb table that uh, uh, i show you earlier and um, based on uh, those data um, plot the chart. We have a chart uh, um, that contains uh, all the three um, movement water and leak and then we have the um, three um, chart containing the, the details of water movement and leak to have a better understanding of the of, um, of what happened. Now let's see more in detail for example in that point we have water one movement zero and we wait uh, to collect so the two data with water one and uh, a movement zero to detect a leakage um, that we um, will be one until the tap is closed and we have no more water flowing out of the tap. Finally, if you are interested in the details about the um, sensor and the board used in, in this prototype and also have a look to the code used to develop the software used in this uh, prototype, I encourage you to go through my GitHub repository that you can reach just um, scanning the code and thanks for watching.